Arbitration can work really well with mediation. Having an arbitrator is like having your own private judge. Now you have to pay for that private judge. And some people might think, well, why would I want to do that when I can go to court and get a judge given to me for free? Well, the difference is that if you use the court process, you are forced down a road over which you have no control. There's no flexibility. There's a timetable that you have to work to which is produced by the court. If you choose arbitration, you can use that hand in hand with mediation. So for example, you might have a really successful mediation, but you might get stuck on just one thing. It might be to do with a pension or how much you should pay your wife um, for her maintenance or the maintenance of the children. If you do get stuck in mediation, you can decide to go to arbitration to just have that one issue resolved, or it could be more than one issue, but it gives you the flexibility to do that. The problem with using the court process is that if you get stuck in mediation, and again, you may be stuck on just one issue, you can't ask the judge to decide one issue. You, you pretty much have to go right back to the beginning again and do the whole thing all over again. Always consider arbitration as an alternative to court. Talk to your solicitor about it from the outset and discuss it as a genuine option right at the beginning because if you use arbitration at the beginning of your case, you could substantially reduce the amount of time involved Court fees don't come anywhere close to the cost of an arbitrator, but the difference is that you have that control. You're paying for it, but in the, in the long run it could save you a lot of money. Because um, if you have resolved all your issues apart from one or two and you're asking an arbitrator to deal with just one issue, that's bound to be cheaper than asking a judge to go back to the beginning again and deal with everything um, and to deal with all the issues. Um, and even if you've agreed stuff, it, the judge doesn't have to approve what you've agreed. So you might have agreed everything but a pension. If you um, go back to court and you make your application for a financial remedy order and you're asking the court to look at everything again, and that would include all the things that you've previously agreed. The judge doesn't have to agree with you and doesn't have to approve what you've agreed. It's a fantastic alternative to court and I think that um, family law arbitration is particularly useful to be used hand in hand with mediation but it's also a wonderful way of dealing with your dispute from start to finish. It gives you control over the process, it allows you to choose the arbitrator, it allows you to agree with the arbitrator and with the other person how best to deal with the case. Now that could be having hearings as you would if you go to court or it could be to have those same hearings conducted by telephone or done in writing. You have a lot more flexibility and a lot more control over the process. I was uh, interested in training to be an arbitrator because uh, again I felt, feel, or I do feel very much that it's important to be able to embrace all of the aspects of family law that are available to me as a solicitor. Family law arbitration allows me to think like a judge. As I go to court a lot and I advise my clients based on the kind of judicial decisions that I experience um, in court, it's good for me, uh, it's good for my practice and it's good for my clients if I can put myself into the shoes of a judge and think in the same way that a judge will think. And so that's one of the reasons I felt it would be good uh, for me as a family law solicitor to train as an arbitrator. Uh, when I did the training, I was amazed and very impressed by what it had to offer. Um, I, I do really love my job. Um, I love the fact that I feel I make a real difference to people's lives. And, and I know that. I know at the end of a case when a client who thought that she was going to be homeless and have no future, you know, has somewhere to live, has a pension, has an income. I know it makes a difference and that's what thrills me about my job.